What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at what squaring and square rooting means. Let's go. Okay, so when we are squaring a number, which means it's got this little 2 up here just hovering in space that we can call a power or the exponent, what it means is we are getting our 4 and we are multiplying it by itself 2 times. So we have 4 multiplied by 4. And 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. So the answer to 4 squared equals 16. And square root is basically the opposite. It means our answer is 25. So we've got the square root here of 25. It means our answer is 25. And what it's asking us is, is what two numbers that have to be the same can we multiply to each other to get the answer 25? Well, let's have a little experiment. 1 times 1 would be 1. So that's not it. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. And 5 times 5 is 25. So I think we've found it with our 5 times 5. So the square root of 25 equals 5. Or in other words, 5 squared is 25. But what does it even mean and why do we call it squaring? Well, if we look at this grid, 4 squared essentially means that we are coming up to the positive 4 on the y-axis and across to positive 4 on the x-axis. And when I link those two together, we can see that we have made this square. And if we count all the individual squares inside this square, we will get 16 because we've got 4 multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 as we learnt. And therefore with 25, what I'm basically doing is I'm building a square out of 25 little squares. So I'd have one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still keeping it a square shape. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now when I create that shape, we can see that it joins the fives together. Therefore the square root 25 equals 5. However, there is a little bit of a caveat here because there is also a different answer to the answer of square root of 25 equals 5. And we could also make a square on this grid with 25 little squares which uses the same number on the x and the y axis. Well, let's try it in this quadrant over here. If I built my square just here, I would have 5 on my x and negative 5 on my y, so it can't be this square. Over here, in this quadrant, would be 5 on my y, negative 5 on my x, so it can't be this one. But if I build a square over here on the negative, negative quadrant, then on my y axis, I have negative 5, and on my x axis, I have negative 5. So the square root of 25 could also equal negative. Just a little caveat there for you to think about. But that's essentially it. That is what squaring and square rooting means. Have a little practice yourself at squaring some numbers and then try and find the square root of them. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, join us over at themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about your age group's maths. But for now guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.